Hello friends, this video on sound part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the next characteristic that we are going to discuss is frequency. So let us now talk about the frequency of wave. What is frequency? It is the number of oscillations per unit time. So what do we mean by that? Let us suppose when you ring the bell. So what happens? This uh, ball, the metal ball, let me consider it like that, it keeps oscillating. So how many times it oscillated over a particular period of time that denotes frequency. For example, let us suppose if it is moving very slow, so maybe it will go like this, it will come back, it will go like this, again it will come back. So the number of oscillations, now how do we define one oscillation? One oscillation would be starting from here, going to here, coming back, going till here, again coming back to the main position. So this is, this entire thing is one oscillation, right? So now if it is moving very slow, then maybe it will cover two oscillations in say one second. If it is moving very fast, then it might cover 20 oscillations in one second. So how many oscillations it is covering in a particular period of time that is called frequency. So let us look at this. So the same pendulum. So how many times it covered how many oscillations in a particular time. So let us look at this picture. So this is the wave. So here one oscillation starts from here. It, it completes at here. So this is one oscillation. So till here is one oscillation from here till here is second oscillation from here till here is third oscillation so how many oscillations it is covering in a particular period of time it is denoted by nu and the si unit of frequency is hertz so hertz is named after the popular scientist so frequency is measured in hertz <coughs> now what is time period it is the time taken to complete one oscillation. So just now I was telling you that what is one oscillation? It is, it's if you count, if you start counting from here, so from here till here is one oscillation. So whatever time is taken to complete one oscillation, that is called time period. So this time would be called time period. Now, obviously, since it measures time, therefore, the SI unit is seconds and there is a very close relationship between time period and frequency because if you look at it, they are very closely related. So, let us try to find out the relationship between frequency and time period. So, frequency is equal to 1 by T. So, frequency is equal to 1 by time period. Why? So let us see why it is it so. So what is capital T? It is the time period that is time taken to complete one oscillation. Correct? So that is capital T. And what is frequency? Frequency is nothing but the number of oscillations over a particular period of time. So that is frequency. Okay. So... If you see here in capital time, capital T, that is in time period T, how many oscillations are done? One. So how many oscillations will be done in a particular period of time, say small t? So how many oscillations will be done? This will be one by t. Sorry, so in, over a period of capital T, one oscillation is done. So over a period of one second so in in one unit of time what will be the or number of oscillation that will be one by t and what is frequency frequency is the number of oscillations in unit time so this is unit time so this one denotes nothing but unit time that is one unit of time so in unit time the number of oscillations is one by t so, and this is nothing but frequency. This is the definition of frequency, number of oscillations in unit time. So, that is why frequency is equal to 1 by T. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. 
Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.